the message that we're giving Active Old today is that we're not going away. You've had 12 weeks of strike action already. If you thought that was bad, you ought to see what's coming down the line. They've absolutely stood steadfast against an exploitative employer who would rather see their workers on the picket line and the job's not done than pay the rate for the job. All they want is the Niki rate, the same as what everybody else is getting on that job. It's very simple, just pay them the rate. Pay the rate! Pay the rate! Pay the rate! Pay the rate! For the last 15 years, while I've been on steelworks since Gunfog, we've been after a pay rise. Every time we've wanted a pay rise, there's been, always been an issue financially from Rich Steel's point of view, which we understand the government had to bail them out, they've had several owners, so every time it's come to a pay rise, we've always backed down. But the longer this has been going on, the lads have got to the point where it says, no, now's the time, we, we want this and we're not going to give in. So we started February last year with the old company we used to work for on there. We didn't get anywhere with them because they was leaving anyway, that was Brand Energy. Activo took over on March 1st last year, we started pay talks immediately with it. When we told them what we wanted, it was like, you're not going to get that rate. So we went out on the 4th of October last year, we spent 12 weeks out on the strike. Spirits for the first few weeks was quite low, but then Sharon Graham, who's the new General Secretary for Unite, she come down to see us on the gate, she built morale up, saying we're going to start targeting Activo. We reballoted over Christmas, 83% of vote come back to carry on with the strike. So that's why we're here today, we're not, we're not giving in. I acknowledge the fight what you've took and the stand what you've took against this employer active or who aren't treating you fairly. They're not treating you fairly, they're not paying you the rate for the skill work you do, for the harsh conditions you're working. You're working heat, dust, it's often unsafe. I've been a scaffolder 40 years. We're amongst the top 10 most dangerous jobs in the world. Everyone works hard, do long hours, 12, 15 hour shifts on some projects. Too many times people aren't getting paid the appropriate rate. Niki agreement is there for a reason. Whether it's for lodge, for your wages, for all your conditions, the unions have negotiated these conditions over the years and now different companies think they can just not even take any notice of it and not pay the appropriate rates. What do we want? Fair pay! Where do we want it? No! What do we want? Fair pay! Where do we want it? No! Activo have um, been blaming British Steel for this dispute and British Steel have been blaming Activo. Well, we've got a message for them both. We know that they can put their hand in the back pocket and solve this dispute overnight if they want to. They're just being belligerent and sticking their heels in because they're scared if one set of workers win, it'll inspire more workers to take on the fight. Dennis O'Brien is a tax exile, surprise, surprise. He's got a private jet, which he swaps every few years, and he's got two yachts as well. And he's Ireland's second richest man. So maybe they could sell one of their yachts or stop flying on their jet so much and pay these workers what they deserve. We've been locked out. We shouldn't have been. We should have been allowed to go back to work in between the ballots, but British Steel is saying there's no work for you. There's been maintenance scaffolding on there. Going back to the 80s, now all of a sudden British Steel is saying that they don't require maintenance scaffolding. There's no work for us. But we've got evidence there is four other scaffold companies on there doing the work we would do, getting the rate we want. And we're the main contractor on there as well. They're coming through the gate in the morning laughing at us and saying we're going to work because we've got the rate you want. So that even makes us more determined to think that no, they're getting it, we want it. Ultra don't scout! Ultra don't scout! Ultra don't scout! Ultra, one of the companies that's scabbing against us, one of the companies that's doing our work, stopping us from going back to work and stopping us from getting the pay right, so it's a bit of a bonus that they're actually sharing an office block together. Years ago, people didn't want to scaffold on the streets on houses and that because the rates weren't very good. But even the lads that we need, like you know, building a new house in the states and that, they're getting more than what we are now. I mean, I could go down south and get another eighty-nine pound an hour. I don't want to because I've got a young family, and that's why I want to work locally. No one wants to work away from home. You're not here alone today. We've got people in Scotland, Ireland, and Wales outside Activo headquarters. On behalf of all the scaffolders that are striking on Scunthorpe Steelworks, working for Activo, we appreciate all the support that we've been given so far. We wanted to make sure we got out today because we think you're taking the right stance. We are fed up of this government treading all over the workers. GMB Union will stand in support and shoulder to shoulder with Unite Scaffolders until this dispute is won. You can have money from our branches, supports on your picket line. I've had word from Denmark over the weekend they're going to make a sizeable uh, donation to the strike fund and they're thinking about you. From our Unison branch we represent health workers 
uh, and they made a conscious decision to come and support the scaffolders, bring you some Christmas gifts for the kids, some money, because we recognise that your struggle is also our struggle. The British Steel used to be a state-owned company, just like the NHS used to be. And look at what they've done with it. They've outsourced, they've, uh, you know, they've divided the workforce, they're not paying the rate for the proper uh, national agreed terms and conditions. And if they can do it to you, they're going to be able to do it to the health workers, to the teachers, anyone across the country. And that's why it's so important to broaden this dispute out. This is what it's all about, about sticking together. We are going to continue doing this. We'll be here doing it every day we can. This is just going to get worse. We're going to follow you everywhere you go and we're going to make your lives hell until you pay these lads what they're worth. And that's a promise from Unite the Union.